All right, here we have our Salesforce uh, demo instance, and we can go through to the Sales Kit tab because we've installed our Sales Kit application. And the first thing you see is the groups that you've created. So this is just a really simple way of curating um, your material into, into different categories. So for example, we drill into one of these categories. We're gonna see the assets, news, events, and tasks that have been created for this category. Uh, the great thing is the assets, news, and events are just links, either links to marketing materials in the case of the assets, links to recent news and events on the web which is great because the marketing team can curate those for the sales team. And then Salesforce tasks help you automate uh, creating tasks essentially into, into Salesforce. Um, so rather than having to go back into the Salesforce One or the web app, that'll all be done directly through the Imagine interface. So if we drill into one of those um, items, um, we can see it all deployed directly onto um, our device. So if you think of it here, all the details here are replicated down here onto the app. So if we drill log in, that's gonna validate our user account. So make sure that we're a valid salesperson. And now we can see a list of all of the assets uh, for the brand. So we're, this is, we're logged in as Adidas, that's the Salesforce owner. If we go into our settings menu, we can uh, choose one of those groups. So let's go through and pick a, um, one of those groups that we're looking at, the running shoes. And now we see only the two assets. So we're not overwhelmed with thousands of items. Uh, we can just tick those. Uh, we can say, go through to the user events. If we go in, we can actually click on one of those um, items to view it directly. So the cool thing about that is um, it views it inside, um, the, well, in this case, links through to the web um, to view the, uh, the article or the, the event that's available. So there's that um, piece of content. And then that can also be included as one of the things I share. So if I tick that as well, Right, right, cool, we've got both ticked, and if we take those now to the contacts, we, if it's a person we've already got, we can add, uh, just select them automatically from our Salesforce database. Um, there's those three, so the piece of content, we, the asset we ticked, and the two events we ticked, and then we've also got the three tasks, and these are auto tasks, but if we untick them, we could stop them being generated. But essentially, when we press email, it's gonna both submit those three tasks with the right details filled in, and it's gonna build our email. So press send. We get to choose our email client, or for example, our chat client, if we wanted to use a chat client. And literally here we have our composed email with the customer's details, our details, David Dupuy is the salesperson, and the, uh, the assets and the events that we ticked all ready to go in, a, in an email. So that's both um, communicated with Salesforce in terms of what's being used, and then uh, any tasks that need to be launched and also made it easy for people to share.